Welcome to the EKG Guy. If this is your first time, I'm glad you're joining us. And welcome back if you're returning. So we've been going through our EKG coding reference guide made available online. We are now in part six here, looking at different forms of myocardial infarction, how to differentiate these MIs from more age indeterminate. Okay, so acute versus old, and looking at the findings we expect based on where the region that's injured. So in this lecture, we're, we're going to look at lateral MI, okay, and this is the form where not the acute one, okay, but more of an age indeterminate, all right, meaning that it's already happened in the past, okay, so it could be an old one. Now, if you need access to the reference guide, all you have to do is put this link into your search bar, enter your email, click submit, and you'll get an email, and at that email, you'll find a link, click that link, and you'll have access to the reference guide, okay? Click this drop-down menu and you'll be able to follow along. If you want more resources, our course and all, our books, you can go to www.ekg.md and you'll be able to see all, just click up here on the course and you'll see what we have. This is what we used to uh, teach our students uh, and those that are training here. So take a look at that. All right, so let's get started. So lateral MI, age indeterminate or probably old, okay? So not that acute injury pattern or that infarct pattern where we see elevation of the ST segment. In this case, we're looking for pathological Q waves. So pathological Q waves. Remember, if you have ST elevation only, this is more of that injury pattern. If you have ST elevation, plus these pathological Q waves, we call that the infarction pattern. And if you just have these Q waves, well, this is where we call it uh, the age indeterminate, okay? So that's the one we're focusing on. So three different patterns. This is the one we're looking at where we're looking for pathological Q waves. And because it's a lateral MI, we're looking in the lateral leads. So remember the lateral leads are one AVL of the limb leads, and then we have V5, and V6 of the precordial leads. So on the standard 12 lead EKG, here's lead one, here's lead AVL, here's lead V5 and V6. So you're looking here, okay? And then you're also looking here to localize it. So those are the lateral leads, okay? The lateral limb leads are one in APL, lateral precordial leads, V5 and V6. In these leads, we're looking for pathological Q waves, okay? In the high lateral leads, uh, often AVL as it sits up there. So imagine you have your uh, leads here in the frontal plane. You have lead one here, lead AVL here, Okay, in the horizontal plane, you have V5 and V6. So all on the lateral portion of the left ventricle. Okay, so any changes in those lead suggest um, injury or prior injury to that region. So again, we're looking for pathological Q waves, so they must be wide. So the Q waves, the first negative deflection, okay, of the QRS complex that precedes the R wave. So here's an R wave. Maybe there's no R wave present, but it has to come before it or it has to be absent. You cannot have a complex that looks like this, okay? Because this is an S wave, this is an R wave, okay? So you want a Q wave, this is a Q wave, all right? It has to always come before the R wave or you may have a complex that looks like this and there's only a Q wave present, okay? You call that a QS complex. So what we want to see are wide complexes, so wide Q waves, at least 30 milliseconds, and at least one millimeter deep, okay? And I always say often, probably a little deeper than one millimeter, but anyways, that's what we use. So uh, the lateral limb leads here, and we're looking for those Q waves, okay? Because remember, no evidence of acute or evolving myocardial injury, meaning no ST segment elevation in, these, in this pattern, okay, to code it. So notice here you have these deep Q waves, okay, same thing here in AVL, and then barely here in V5, okay, but maybe they're there, and barely in V6, okay? I would be almost question those in V5 and V6, but it's clear in one in AVL in this region here, in the frontal plane that you can see that infarct pattern that has happened, okay? So uh, just something to keep in mind there. So one in AVL, clearly you have that lateral MI, that those deep Q waves, and notice also that there is no evidence of any ST segment deviation. So there's 
this flat ST segment here, okay, no deviation of this, all right. This patient had already had an infarct in the past and was just presenting for follow-up, okay. So, uh, again, the main findings you're looking for here are pathological Q waves, no evidence of, of acute or evolving myocardial injury, meaning there's no evidence of ST segment uh, deviation. And remember the leads, 1 in AVL, V5 and V6. In this case, they were most prominent in 1 in AVL, okay? So pathological Q waves, no ST segment deviation in leads, the lateral leads, 1, AVL, V5 and V6. Well, that's the end of this lecture. I hope you learned something. Now, just to keep you in mind uh, of our course material that we have available, so again, if you go to our website, www.ekg.md, okay, so this is our website, and what you'll notice is that if you go to the EKG course here, okay, you'll find stuff that's separate. So notice that we have a number of topics, practice material, lectures, a way for you to contribute, and this is the course here over here. So you'll notice we have over 300 videos or so, and that's more on YouTube. There's another 100, more than 100, about 200 videos that are available with the course. So those are separate videos. And this course is really designed to take you from a beginner to advanced interpreter. Okay. So completely separate from what you're getting online for free. Okay. These are um, course material that comes with it. So notice that you have a book Okay, and then you also have the pocket guide available. So you can choose which format. They are the same thing, both these uh, book and the pocket guide, uh, different formats. Uh, I really like this small one because you can keep it in your white coat if you're in the clinic or in your pocket and it's really available on the go. Now with the book, you also get videos. So notice these are the videos, okay? And these are a video for every single page in that book. So it's over 30 hours of video. Now there's a number of practice material that I continue to upload there. Okay, we'll have practice questions coming soon. Uh, so all of that's available. Again, this is separate from all the free material that you get already. Okay, so this is more high yield stuff. This is what we used to teach our uh, technicians here and our students here at Mayo Clinic. And it's used now among many institutions. So use uh, check that out. Now, what it also includes are calipers. So yes, you get calipers with this course, okay? Um, I don't know anyone else that offers that, but you do get calipers. I think they're very helpful and they can, uh, you know, if you know how to use them correctly, uh, can help to identify different uh, arrhythmias that are going on, okay? And then you also get our pocket EKG reference. Okay, this was something we've put together as we were developing course for the fellows. Uh, and this is really nice. It has every code, as you saw earlier, laid out there, very small pocket guide available. I had help with uh, my colleague, Dr. Peter Noseworthy, who's the head of the EKG lab here at Mayo Clinic in editing it. So this is something that we use um, and we found very helpful. So go to the EKG course, you'll see examples of lectures, okay, why we developed this, okay, a lot of it came about from myself struggling with learning EKGs, having a father that was an interventional cardiologist and, you know, still struggling. So uh, my struggle is a struggle that I don't want you to have in learning them, okay, you can read all those introductory books, but honestly, they are not uh, enough, okay, and you find yourself using other resources which is part of the learning process. I wanted to expedite that process for you and make it less uh, inefficient uh, in pretty much what I struggled with going and learning through EKG. So again, from beginner to advanced level with this course, uh, you get the book, the calipers, the coding reference, video access, okay? And now we're offering 25% off. 25% off, put that code in on checkout and uh, you'll have yourself 25% um, off that will even, it's pretty much covers the cost of what we use to print the material. So uh, we don't really make much off it. It's more to help our learners grow and really be able to contribute to patient care. That's why we do this and we love doing it. So thank you so much for your support. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them below and we're happy to answer them. All right, have a great day.